Hi students! So the main topic of this first week is everything that has to do with a wide field of mathematics. And well, do you remember your first days at school and what you learned in mathematics? So most likely you learned something like this. Okay, so what this is and as a whole, it's an equation. Okay, because what we have here is the equal sign. This equation can also be called an addition. Okay, because we add something and this is the first word we can use to talk about it and to express it in English. We add four and five. Another word that we can also use here is the word plus. This is easy. So we say four plus five equals nine. Okay, and the first or the third, and so, uh, I'm sorry, the third thing is just using the word and. So these are three alternatives to express this equation. 4 plus 5, 4 and 5, we add 4 and 5 and the result is 9. Speaking of the result, the result of this thing here is called a sum. Now this is the first equation we had and the first mathematical operation. So the next mathematical operation is then um, the opposite, the reverse. 9 minus 4 equals 5. This thing is called a subtraction. The result of a subtraction is called a difference. And we can also of course explain this in two different ways. The first way is similar to the plus. So we have the minus here. 9 minus 4 equals 5 and the other way is to say we subtract and note the preposition we subtract from. So we subtract 4 from 9 and that gives us the 5 as a result. So this is what you learned more or less in the first year at school. What you learned afterwards was a bit more complex. For example, you learned this. Now, how do we say that in English? So the first thing that we know, or we have to know, what is this operation called? This operation is called a multiplication. The result of a multiplication is called a product. And how do we say that? Again, just like for minus and subtract from, there are two different ways of saying that. The first one is an easy one. So I say times. 7 times 8 is 65. Or I say multiplied by. Note the preposition here is by. So 7 multiplied by 8 equals 65. Again, we can do the reverse. Okay, so we started with a 65 and we can do this. So what does this give us? Well, this gives us, first of all, the name of the operation, which is a division. The result of a division is called a quotient. And we can say this with one English expression, and this is called divided by. Can you see the parallel? There is by here and then there is by here. So I can say 65 divided by 7 equals 8. Now these are the basic words that you need to understand any kind of complex and difficult um, mathematical operation. These are the major things. Some more words now for these. First of all, we need to know what this is called. 4 squared is the same operation as 4 times 4. Okay, we call this squared. Now sometimes for this here we do not have the number 2, the figure 2, but we have 
for example, 5. Now, this here is raised to the power of 5. And this is a pretty long term, so many people just say 4 to the 5, which is much shorter and easier to understand. But you have to know where it comes from. So the word raise means the same as to lift something, to get something higher. Okay, now there is one last term before you practice the whole thing in the context of other videos that explain more complex mathematics. And this is the word or the letter X. For example, I can say 4 times 4 is X. This is called the unknown. Unknown is short for unknown value. We have a value here. And we have a value here. In that case, both have uh, numbers have the same value. And here we have an unknown value. So a lot of stuff in algebra is about finding the unknown and calculating the unknown. And this is what you can do in one of the following videos. So enjoy.